everybody, my name is Lisa Ward, I'm from County Leitrim and I released my debut fiddle album last year which is called Black Swan. Shoot away. Okay. So I'm going to play two jigs, um, they're both Paddy Fahey's tunes and Paddy Fahey 1 and 2 and they're both on the album. And sorry Lisa before you start, yeah. where would you have learned or picked these tunes up from? Um, I learned them from my teacher who was Connor Ward in County Leitrim. Um, but it would have been influenced a lot by, say, Liz and Yvonne Kane, and they right. play a lot of body fights. Absolutely, music. okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot for being here. You're the second All Ireland champion to be here on the Monday after the FLA. The first was the 2016 champion, Dara Curtin. And let me say, you're a lot prettier than Dara Curtin. Is. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, the title of your album, Black Swan, it maybe betrays it betrays maybe the influence that this person's had in your career. Could you mm -hmm. explain the connection? Yeah. Um, so Black Swan, it's track 12 on the album. And it's Black Swan, it's a hornpipe. And it, it, before it was Black Swan, it was Mini Foster's, so it was about a dancer from America um, who travelled around North America in the mid 19th century, and it was popularised under the name Black Swan, um, which was by Sean Maguire. And he's a big influence on your career, is he? Yeah, I would have listened to Sean Maguire a lot. Um, a lot of people, I suppose, maybe people think he's influenced me more than I, I've known myself. Maybe. Right, Someone okay. Been, yeah. Did you ever get to meet him before he died? Never got to meet Never, him. Okay. Never, okay. Yeah. Now, you're from South Leithrum. Yes. So, Leithrum. everyone knows about North Leithrum, Kilty Clotter, the Lennons, and all that stuff. Is there a major difference between style? There has to be geographically because of proximity mm -hmm. to the North, Donegal with the North. Is there a, is, is there a kind of a, a total difference between North and South, or is, is it visible? Yeah, I suppose now there wouldn't be as much of a difference, I suppose. With that's all around the country, the influence everywhere isn't as strong. Sure. But, um, North Leitrim music would be, it would have been associated more with fiddle music and that would have been influenced by Donegal style and then your South would have been more associated with flute players. Sure. So we had John McKenna, um, Josie McDermott. Right. The, that would have been the, the South Sligo style. Right, Sligo, okay. Leitrim, Scam and all of that. And so who, it would have been a difference. Great, yeah. okay. Who would have taught you? Like, who would have been your, your one, one of your initial... Yeah, well I started out playing 
um, when I was about 10, on between whistle with Michael McNamara from All of Us, so that would have been the South Neutral style sure. of playing. And then I progressed on to the fiddle at 12 years, and that was with Connor Ward. So he was from Drum Snap in County Leitrim as well. And he was taught by Enda McNamara from All of Us, he was taught by uh, Father Quinn. I that see. was Gordon Lettra, so it was all South music. Oh, lovely, okay. And people your own go now, or somebody just above your own generation, who would you have liked, or who really appeals to you? Um, I would have listened a lot to the Canes, so Liz and Yvonne Kane. From Letter Frack in, in, yes, in Galway, right? Galway, yeah. I think the tunes, I would have went to them, say, at the John Mooney Summer School in Drumshambo, and I would have learnt really nice tunes off them, um, East Galway style. Right. And then I would have liked Liz Doherty. Lovely. So, I suppose Donegal music would have influenced me a lot. Right. And, you know, Michael Coleman and your South Slide as well. Okay. Kind of taken influence from right. both styles, I okay. think. Okay. Now, 2010, you won that All Ireland title. Yeah. Do you get to a stage, it's like climbing to the top of the hill. When you're at, at the top of the hill, what do you do from winning an All Ireland senior <laughs> fiddle title? Like, where do you go? Um, well, after I won the All Ireland's, what year was that? was in 2010. I went on and to do a Master's in um, Irish music performing in UL, I in suppose UL. that's kind Lovely. of, yeah, I think that you take your music to another level, I think, when sure. you study there, um, so now I'm just playing away. Right, and, and teaching yeah. in, 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 or in Drogheda, yes, outside yeah, Drogheda. Yes, I'm a primary teacher, yeah, in Dunacarney and Neve. How do you go from, from a paradise, a musical paradise like UL and that course there into the mundaneness of teaching in the south of Drogheda in, in a rural environment? Yeah. Have you coped? I, ha I have coped, yeah. It is, like, even now, you, you, were, you were playing every day when you were there. So you were practicing every day, you were in your ensemble groups every day playing. It is a come down, like, you notice yourself as well, I think, in your own playing, that you're not as, um, oh, what's the word? As um, maybe sharp or yes, including, sharp, yeah. Yes, sharp, I suppose, sure. yeah. Um, I, was just, I think you just have to keep practicing and playing away, I know. getting as much playing in as you can yourself. And did it ever occur to you, or did it ever form in your, in your head, I'm going full time at this, I'm going to make it a real profession. I know it's difficult yeah. and it's pretty, it's, it's pretty hard to get maybe opportunities, yeah. but did it ever cross your mind to do that? It did cross my mind. I know when I was deciding on what to do in college, it was either going to be music or teaching, because I'd always wanted to be a primary teacher. Sure. So I think kind of the safer option was I suppose to go for teaching. <laughs> I was going to stay a job out of that, so I went for the teaching and then I did my master's after and I suppose after that I just wanted I wanted to teach after so you know never I'd never say never, maybe All in the right. future yet. Okay. And listen, just the last question before I let okay. you go. Do you teach up where you are now or do you go back home to teach or are you were involved in passing on your experience to the yeah. next generation? Um, yeah, I've been teaching in Leitrim. I teach a few students at home and I prepare people for the FLA. A lot of people come to me about preparing them for the FLA. All right. Children, yeah. <laughs> Any successes? And then, yeah, there has been, yeah, a few people have well been done. in place in all Ireland, yeah. Brilliant. And, yeah, I teach fiddle in me as well, to the children Great. in the school, so. Okay, yeah. listen, Lisa, thanks for being here. And thanks very much for having me. Thrilled to have you, okay. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.